What's going on guys? Stevie from the Minute Masters here and today I'm going to show you how to read the codes in your truck. So yes, the truck you drive isn't so ancient that you can't read the codes. So if you're not familiar, there's two um, computer systems in cars, ECUs, ECMs, whatever you want to call them. Um, there's OBD1 and there's OBD2, okay? At 96 is where the cutoff is between the two. So up to 96, you had OBD1, and after that's OBD2. Most car places will do OBD2 readings for free. Like you can go to AutoZone, O'Reilly's, Pep Boys, like all of them pretty much will do it for free. With OBD1 though, you need a special reader. They won't read them for you. So that's where you have to buy one of these guys. So this is a code reader by Innova, okay? And as it states on the cover, it's for a Ford, Lincoln, Mercury, 1981 to 95. So yeah, they don't even say 96, so pretty much 95 years, okay? And then, of course, if you want to know all of the extra nitty-gritties, I'll just do a nice little pass over here for you. As you can see, it really does cover a lot. All right. So you can get these just about anywhere. I got it on Amazon because I could get it literally at the next day. Actually, I did get it that day. Um, and But I did own one of these at one time. That's part of the reason why I kind of had to get it here sooner. So it consists of reader, the manual, and then of course the little cover here, um, you know, with all the extra details. So here's what you need to know. So on your truck, you take your code reader and you'll go over here to the driver's side fender well and you'll see this thing that says EEC test so you'll actually just unplug that so there's one and then sometimes you'll have this little guy here so you can kind of look at your code reader here see the pattern okay so there's obviously a little more pins in this than there are in this but you just have to plug it up just like so so I'm gonna plug this up up and we'll go over some of the uh, code reader details and we'll get this thing started all right so I have the code reader plugged in with the screen presented to me so that I can look at it. If you want, you can spend the extra money and you get an extension cable so you can sit right there in the seat of your truck and conduct the test from there. That's ideal because then you're there with the uh, key and a couple of the other things you'll have to do for the other tests, okay? So screen towards us. Everything I'm gonna show you is right here in this book, okay? And there's a lot of good information in here and it's also in several other languages if you need that, okay? So let's page the important stuff here. All right, so if you're not much of a reader, this is a great video for you. So we're gonna do the key on, engine off, okay? So basically what you do is you go to your tab here and you turn it to on, but you don't turn the engine on, okay? So you can see everything lit up, all right? And then we're gonna go right back here and we're gonna turn this bad boy on, okay? On, and then we're gonna press and hold the test. The arrow means that you've connected, and you probably heard some things clicking and clacking and whatnot. That means it's starting to run the test. A square blinking means it's starting to pull some codes here. So we should see some numbers here in a sec. They say about 10 seconds and codes will start popping up on the screen. So we have a 565 code. Now I can tell you already, that code is for a sensor right here. It's been there forever. And it's one of those things that you can chase down on these trucks for years, trust me. So there's the O for the engine off test, okay? After that, it will display a 10 if there's no more codes. The 10 indicates we're going to the next section. The next section is called continuous memory. So every time you run the codes in your truck, it will store codes in it. So continuous memory will show some other codes. So right now, see, no other, see, see continuous memory. 11 or 111 means you've passed the test, there's no codes, okay? So that finishes the key on engine off test, okay? So I'm gonna go turn the car back off again, at least the electrical component, or the truck, huh? and come back and we're gonna start the engine on test. All right, so everything's off. So I'm all ready for the next test, which is the key on engine on 
test, basically a test while the engine's running. So let's go over a few things real quick. Now with this test, and of course you will see this in the uh, manual here, if you have power steering, you will have to turn the wheel a half a turn. If you have a brake on and off switch, you'll have to press the brake pedal. And if you have overdrive, you'll have to hit the cancellation button at the end of the shifter. And if you don't do those things, you will get three separate error codes. Now, you will get a cylinder code, which I will show you on the reader. And then you'll get the 10 code, meaning we're going to another section. At that time, you have to push the accelerator down or you will get yet another uh, error code, okay? Now, if I didn't mention this before, before you do these tests, you wanna make sure the engine is warmed up. And so, of course, I have my commute home, so the engine's all warmed up and we're ready to go. So, let's start the key on engine on test. So, we're just gonna go over here. And if you haven't quite figured out, this is where that extension cable will come in handy because you can do the test right from here. So, we're gonna turn the engine on. All right, so we're ticking now. So, then we're gonna go back up front here. We're gonna hit on. Hold to start the test. Good, we got narrow. RPM kept going up, indicating it's starting to run the test. There's an eight cylinder code. So we're gonna go in here and half a turn. I do both directions just for, you know, extra there. Overdrive cancellation, brake pedal in. All right, now we're gonna go back. So that's a cylinder code, right there it says CYL8. Now we just have to wait for the 10 to appear. They said that can be 30 to 60 seconds. So engine RPMs are high right now. Now they're going down. And we're just waiting for that 10. So there we got the 10. So then we go in here, hit the gas pedal. All right. Let's go back and see if we avoid the error code. Now there's an R right there indicating it's a running test. There we go. 111 showing that we have no error codes. So I'm just going to turn this off. We'll hear it disconnect from the engine in a second. Right there. And then we just turn it off. So just like that, you've read the codes on your OBD1 vehicle. And like I said, you don't have to do this. Most of us can tell when things are running correctly, but there are a lot of sensors that are on these older trucks that it's nice to know if they work or not. And so if you have any electrical problems, this is your first resource. And as you can see, 10 minutes, clean bill of health for the truck. So once again, it's the Innova Reader. You can find them anywhere and they're like $34. So that's all for me guys. If you like this video, hit the subscribe icon over here. Check out some of my other videos. I'm Stevie from the Minute Masters. Thanks for watching.